Within the context of Brave New World, Bernard Marx and John Savage share the same political and socio-cultural ideologies and ostracism. However, their societies are fundamentally different. However, despite Bernard's society supposedly being a perfect utopia that fosters scientific advancement and progress, the residents are still fascinated by the savages, which was put forth, uh, originally put forth in the text by the director. I had the same idea as you, the director was saying. I wanted to have a look at the savages. On page 83, that was. They are both, Bernard and John are both isolated by their distinctive physical features, which gives them a certain connection. The words awoke a plaintive echo in Bernard's mind. Alone, alone, so am I, he said on a gush of confinedness. Terribly alone, page 118. The author Huxley seems to make a comment here that the, by the mere existence of these characters in the text, the process of creating the uniform and undecipherably sane, there will invariably be a variety of identities that are created. This is perpetuated by the idea that although John and Bernard are linked by they, their aloneness, they are two very different characters, one embracing his differences and the other retreating and exuding a sense of false confidence. The more the boys pointed and sang, the harder he read. John Savage, page 112. And Bernard's voice was agonised. Did he mention Iceland? You say he did? Ford! Iceland! His face was pale his expression utterly dejected. Huxley used the similarities of the two here to juxtapose the characteristics and conventions of the constructed hero within this brave new world. Brave New World depicts a eugenic experiment that was conducted by a world government, the Fordian state, where Huxley's perspective of the political climax of his time is represented in the text. Particularly the 20th, 20th century as the age of machinery and his criticism of it. Where in the text, the hum and rattle of the machinery faintly stirred the air. Page 7. It is a form of scientific totalitarianism and is a vision of a mechanized world where science is an instrument for power. Marxist collectivism and a culture dedicated to sexual pleasure is used to stabilize society. Control is not direct, but the world controls use the slower but infinitely surer methods of ectogenesis. Neo Pavlovian conditioning and hypnopedia, page 61. In Huxley's representation of a social experiment in eugenics, scientists <coughs> are intent on improving on nature, which, which could only produce one egg, one embryo, one adult normality, page 3. Ironically, scientific methods are represented as superior to nature by enabling humanity to make 96 beings grow where only one group for progress, page 3. <coughs> Um, Brave New World depicts a place in a very specific situation where everyone within that place has one shared political view, one which seems utopian to the narrow-minded adherents of the Ford culture, but is clearly dystopian to those individuals which in this case is depicted as either Bernard or John, as well as us, the readers, who are forced to step back and see the situation unfold and see it for what it truly is. Knowing that science is technically the unopposed church in Brave New World, one could deduce that the political culture of the text shows a sovereignty which retains no separation between church and state, relevant to our situation in the history of the real world's humanity. Um, one of the quotes, stability, said the controller, stability. No civilization without social stability. No social stability without individual stability. His voice was a trumpet, listening they felt larger, warmer. Mustafa's voice becomes an important part of the, his character. He and later in chapter 17, when he has his philosophical discussion with John, this quote shows the shared political situation which is simultaneously controlled by one entity, the control over social stability and control over individual stability. These problems are solved in the text by the use of soma and conditioning. Thank you. Thank you.